Hey guys, welcome back to Skull Gamer for Fun. Uh, this is Matt, aka Shadow Gamer 2148, and today we're gonna be playing a game called Crystar. Now, uh, two things before we get started. Number one, I have played this game before, but I never beat it. Uh, number two, this game is going to have a content warning on it. Um, now that might sound weird given some of the other stuff on this channel with crude language and blood and gore and this doesn't have either of that but this content warning is more so because this game talks about uh, more serious subject matters and by that I mean like things like suicide for example so I just wanted to warn you guys head up before we get into this um I'll put some warnings in like before those moments happen in editing just so you guys have some warning on when they're about to occur. And I'll even give you like a timestamp on where to skip to if you don't feel comfortable watching and listening about that kind of stuff. But I just wanted to warn you guys before we get into this. So, uh, let's go. Um, yes, we'll go with English voices. And here we go. Is your heart still asleep? Fine. It can wait for a bit. My wish doesn't have to reach you just yet. Not until you wake up. Whether yesterday was unhappy, or today is unhappy, or tomorrow will be unhappy. For every tear that is shed, rather, because tears will be shed, there may still be smiles in the future. There's no law that enforces kindness in the world. The world is empty. The world is unreasonable. But, however, because of that, You must give meaning to your tears through your will. You must give meaning to the sadness and pain you endure because it'll be unrequited, because it is unfair. Most importantly, use your tears to smile. I'm sure your future will be wonderful. So, give meaning to the tears. Good morning. I wonder, are you awake? Don't push yourself too hard. Concentrate on maintaining your self-consciousness. Self-consciousness? You don't understand, do you? Then instead, I'll say it like this. Who are you? What? I am... I am... If you don't know, find out. Before you completely perish. Okay, and we're into it. Um, man, I forgot how pretty this game is. Like, some of the backgrounds, you know, like, just take a second to look at that. It's really nice. Especially that over there. That's really nice. Um, also, I know sometimes in, like, games or in dialogue, I like to talk or make little jokes. But in this game, given its sort of serious nature, I'm gonna refrain from doing so. I don't want to suffer anymore. I want to be at peace. I don't 
feel anything. What am I? Huh? Water. Can't breathe. I... Where am I? Who am I? Huh? Silently fluttering. Huh. Big sis. Happy times. Ugh, you didn't eat it again. You don't even cook. How can you tell there's shiitake in the beef patty? I made sure to chop it up so finely you wouldn't notice. Even Thelema wouldn't notice it. You're like the only person who leaves the whole patty alone and just eats potatoes, big sis. Big... sis? Looks like we're starting to remember. Oh, hello. Looks like that was gonna follow me. I wonder where it came from. <laughs> it's, it's dark. It's cold. Where are Mom? Dad? When I jumped, the ground came up to meet me so fast. Next thing I know, I... What am I? Yeah, that kind of stuff right there that, that butterfly just talked about, that's the kind of stuff I was warning you guys about. Like, that would, yeah. So just, just be prepared for when you watch these videos on this game. Ah, you arrived. Sorry to call you here. What, are you nervous about being called to the teacher's office? Or is it because you're at school for the first time in a long time? Oh well. I know things are tough with your parents and all, but why don't you come to school more often? You don't want to flunk 10th grade, do you? Hey, are you listening? Hatada! Hatada? Is that me? I want to die. 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 I want it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Finally. I'm satisfied. <sighs> this is going to be a long one, guys. Just bear with me here when you watch this. No matter how many times I try, it never ends. I can't see. I can't see. It's dark. Where am I? Sorry I'm so silent right now, by the way. It's just I don't have the words to say in this kind of situation at the moment. And that's probably going to be a lot of this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just creepy. It's pretty, but there's something sad about it, too. Uh, yeah, we talked about that one. Cool. I was happy. Oh, okay. Hey, what's going on? I was told you were the reason why everything happened. Why? Why did this have to happen to me? It's your fault, isn't it? Help me, Ray! I can't! I'm... My name is... Ray. 
Rei Hatada. Yes, you are Rei Hatada. Don't ever forget. Um, who are you? Huh? Wait, I still have more questions I want to ask. Where am I? I was just in my room. Why am I even here? I can't believe it. That's so irresponsible. Look at that. We remembered who we are. And we're no longer a butterfly. Let's keep moving on. Good morning. Can you open the curtains? Thank you. If I can't see the scenery, it will make my heart sink. Oh. Okay, well, there's no curtains, but the scenery here is very nice. I love all these giant floating swords. You came? You've gotten so big. Boys grow up so fast. At this age, the only thing I look forward to is seeing my grandchildren. Okay, so clearly that was an old lady. Huh? Uh, why? There's so much blood coming out, but it doesn't hurt. I, I don't feel anything. It's a little cold, though. Jesus. Inexcusable. I won't forgive. Why? 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 Why only me? Huh? Why am I angry? I don't know why you are, dude. I've lived enough. Live the rest of your life for yourself. Um, thanks for the advice, I guess. Oh. You've been following me, haven't you? You can't rely on me. I don't even know what's going on. If anything, I need someone to rely on. Is this a dream? Please tell me if it is. I'm not proud of this, but I'm pretty weak. I'm tired of walking, so I'm gonna stay here until I wake up. You're telling me to keep walking? Why do you even bother with me? Don't you need to stay with the other butterflies? Sis? Huh? Big Sis? No. Why? Big Sis. Marai? Is it you, Marai? I am... Marai. Marai Hatada. Big Sis Ray's... little sister. Uh, Marai! Why are you here too? I don't know. I was at home. But somehow I ended up here. It was dark. No one was around. I was so confused. I didn't have my phone. Not that I could use it as a butterfly. It was really disheartening, you know? But then, I felt as if Big Sis was nearby. So I followed you. <laughs> and it really was you. I was right. Thank God. Being alone is scary. It's okay. I'm here with you. I don't know where we are, but we'll get out of here together. Yeah. 
What's wrong? Big sis, can I ask you something? Remember when I was little, you would kindly hold my hand whenever I had nightmares? Could you do that again? Thank you, big sis. I love you. Alright, well, let's keep moving. We got our little sister back. Can I actually talk to her again? No, I cannot. Hate, hate, I hate it! This house, this family... <laughs> burn, burn! <laughs> this is like... a bad dream. Somehow I don't think this is a dream. I... 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 am? Is that butterfly talking? <sighs> oh, are you okay? It's hard to talk to them. Let's go already. Mm, chill out, I was talking to all of them. What is this place, really? The scenery... It... it has to be a dream. It's not a dream. I know, because your hands are warm. Mariah, do you remember anything from before coming here? I was cooking at home. I was checking the recipe on my phone. It's really tough to cook for such a picky, weird sister. After all, you only eat potatoes. I'm not that weird. So once dinner was made, I decided to go get my big sis Ray, the shut-in potato eater. Ugh, don't give me weird nicknames. Also, I'm not a shut-in. Next thing I knew, I was here. I don't remember what happened. Me either. I only remember being in my room. And by the way, I just like how my room is set up. That's why I prefer spending my time in there. That's what you call a shut-in, Big Sis. Let's go. Yeah. Big Sis, even if something happens, don't forget to keep holding my hand. Mariah, you hold tight too. I won't let go, no matter what. Yeah. Well, what happened to not letting go? I mean, we're not holding hands at the moment. Alright. Be that way then. Oh, hello. Let's play! Let's play! Let's play together! What is that? That's a good question. This place has crazy stuff like this too? Mariah, run!
don't know. Everything is white. I don't... Maintain your self-consciousness. I am... Gather the things to prove you are a soul. That way... I... am... That's right. I need to find my little sister. I need to find her and hold her hand. Yes. If you have a strong self-consciousness, when Idia awakens, its avatar, a guardian, will be your salvation. What is your name? What do you desire? I am Rei. Rei Hatada. My sister. I want to save Mirai. Master Rei Hatada, I am your guardian, Heraclitus. The mirror which reflects your heart. Receive a piece of this power as my blessing. Are you telling me to fight? So you're ignoring me? I... Wait for me. I'll be right there, Mirai! to look for her. If this place has more monsters, I can't leave her alone. Alright. And now we're getting into it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you must! Alright. Into our first, uh, dungeon, I guess you could call it. Uh, character's health, yep. Also, can I just say, the soundtrack of this game is fucking amazing. Easily one of my favorite soundtracks in any game. I highly recommend you look it up on Spotify. <laughs> Check it out, Mephis. I found something nice. Praise me. Praise me. Praise me! <laughs> you are ever so restless, Felice. Did you perchance find the loose screws in your head? <laughs> Mephis, you're so dumb. My head doesn't have any screws. You seem cheery as always. So, what did you find? Ta-da! A fresh Idia crystal. I just picked it up. Oh. Tis interesting to encounter crystallized Idia here in the top layer of purgatory. Speaking of interesting, that presence from earlier. <laughs> it's her, right? Indeed. I ponder what the Revenant Princess, notorious in Purgatory, is doing in a place like this. <laughs> Let's get going. We might find some more shiny treasures. We need to find whosoever dropped this idea. How troublesome. But, but, we might get a new toy. Mephis likes toys too, right? I love, love, love it! I can't contain myself! I'm gonna get going! How shameless. 
Yet I myself do enjoy it as well. She lost a vital piece of Idia. Let us see what shall happen next. All right, yeah, those two are uh, very interesting. Move to the next floor. Yes. No reason to stick around here. This is my room? And... me? A dream? No. This is my memory of right before I came to this world. Big sis! I brought some food! It's a new recipe, so you'll regret it if you don't eat it while it's still hot! What? Mirai? Where are you? Answer me, Mirai! Oh, looks like there's a straggler. Huh? It's fine. It's not a big deal. What? That's right. I met that woman, and my consciousness started fading. I remember now. There was a woman wearing a black dress. Looked like a princess. She was the one who dragged us into this world. I won't forgive her. Here I All go. Right. We just got some uh, interesting backstory there. So now we know why we're here. Oh, I believe. Hate me if you must. Hate me if you must. Just. If my wish can be granted with this power. Sweet, we leveled up. <laughs> 